Welcome to Grade 5 Mathematics, Quarter 4, Week 1. Area of a circle and routine and non-routine problems involving the area of a circle. Lesson 1, Area of Circle. So what is an area? The area of a circle is the number of square units inside that circle. Its unit is labeled as square units or square units. Area of a circle is the region occupied by the circle in a two-dimensional plane. Area of circle formula. So we have a circle and a center and a radius. The formula is A is equal to pi times R squared. Where A the area pi is equal to 3.14 and r is the radius so let's have an example example one if the radius of a circle is two centimeters then find its area from the formula a is equal to pi r squared a is equal to pi, which is 3.14, times the radius 2 cm squared. A is equal to 3.14 times the square of 2 cm, 4 cm squared. A is equal to 3.14 times 4, which is 12.26, and the unit is cm squared. So the area of a circle with radius equal to centimeter is equal to 12.26 square centimeters. Example 2. If the diameter of a circle is 10 centimeters, then find its area. Given diameter of 10 centimeters, since the formula is in radius, you have to divide the diameter into 2. Diameter is equal to 10 divided by 2. It will become radius, which is equal to 5 centimeters. Formula A is equal to pi r squared. A is equal to pi, which is 3.14 times the given radius, which is 5 centimeters squared. Area is equal to 3.14 times 5 squared is equal to 25. The area is equal to 78.5 square centimeters. Example 3. If the radius of a circle is 0.7 inch, then find its area. Formula A is equal to pi r squared. A is equal to pi, which is 3.14 times the radius which is 0.7 inch square. A is equal to 3.14 times the square of 0.7 is 0.49 inch squared. Area is equal to 3.14 times 0.49 inch squared. It is equal to 1.54 square inch. Lesson 2 Solving routine and non-routine problems involving area of a circle. So what is a routine problem? Routine problems use at least one of the four arithmetic operations to solve problems that are practical in nature. Non-routine problems are any complex problems that require some degree of creativity or originality to solve. They do not have an immediately apparent strategy for solving. It can also be solved in multiple ways. Example, a circular fountain has a radius of 12 meters. What is the area of the circular fountain? Step 1. Understand. What is asked in the problem? 
the area of the circular fountain. B. What are given? 12 meter radius. Step 2. Make a plan. Use the formula in finding the area of a circle. A is equal to pi r squared. Step 3. Carry out the plan. From the formula, A is equal to pi r squared. A is equal to pi, which is 3.14 times the given radius squared. The given radius is 12 meters. You square that. A is equal to 3.14 and the square of 12 meaning 12 times 12 144 meters squared A is equal to 3.14 times 144 it is equal to 452.16 square meters Example of a non-routine problem A circular basement has a radius of 6 meters if it will cost 471 pesos per square meter to pave the basement with bricks, what will the total cost be? Step 1. Understand. A. What is asked in the problem? Total cost of the basement. B. What are given? 6 meters radius of the basement and 471 pesos per square meter Step 2 Make a plan First, find the area of the basement Second, multiply the total area by 471 pesos Step 3 Carry out the plan A Area is equal to pi times r squared A equal to pi which is 3.14 times the given radius which is 6 meters a is equal to 3.14 times the square of 6 is 36 the area is equal to 3.14 times 36 which is 113.04 square meters and letter B Multiply 113.04 square meters to 471 pesos. It will give an answer of 53,241 pesos and 84 centavos. 53,241 pesos and 84 centavos is the total cost of the circular basement. And step 4, is the answer reasonable? Remember, the area of a circle is the number of square units inside that circle. It can be computed by A is equal to pi r squared. It was derived from the area of a rectangle or parallelogram and labeled with square units. To solve routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools, we can follow the four-step process. Step 1. Understand the problem. Step 2. Make a plan. Step 3. Carry out your plan. And Step 4. Look back.